Hello to all my readers at WH Smith. I'm Ken Follett, and I'm delighted to introduce my forthcoming novel and third instalment in the Kingsbridge series, A Column of Fire. It's a spy story set in the 16th century, in the reign of Queen Elizabeth I. And I hope that it combines all the kind of suspense and action that you get in spy stories with all the colour and historical interest that you get in a historical novel. World Without End, which was the sequel to The Pillars of the Earth, took place 200 years later. And now A Column of Fire takes us another 200 years farther on. So obviously there are no characters uh, that appear in more than one of the books, but what does reappear is the town of Kingsbridge, the city of Kingsbridge, I should say. Kingsbridge changes and develops over the centuries uh, in very much the same way that England did. So actually Kingsbridge has sort of come to stand for, for England. I was just reading general history and I realized that so many people had tried to assassinate Queen Elizabeth I that she had set up the first English secret service. And I just thought how interesting that that long ago, the 16th century, there should have been this concern over security which of course we think of as a terrifically 21st century phenomenon. But there she was, the Queen of England, in the time of Shakespeare, and she had to protect herself. And so she had an intelligence service, the precursor of MI5 and MI6. That notion just, uh, it kind of blew my mind and I thought there's got to be a great story in this. I wanted very much to link France and England in this story. And uh, when I started to read about Mary Queen of Scots, I realized that that was my link because of course she was brought up in Paris and she became Queen of France. And then she went to Scotland and became Queen of Scotland. And then she came to England and was banged up in prison uh, by Queen Elizabeth I because she was such a threat. So, um, I was able, I'm always interested in my stories in showing how the drama in different countries is linked up. Uh, and so Mary Queen, the story of Mary Queen of Scots was one of that moments that made me think, aha, I've got it. Main protagonist of A Column of Fire is a young man called Ned Willard. Uh, he grows up expecting to take over his family business and uh, fate has a different destiny for him and he goes to work for Queen Elizabeth and becomes one of her secret agents. Uh, he is um, uh, a rather idealistic young man as many Ken Follett heroes are. He's quite tough, uh, he's very smart uh, and he uh, is also quite sexy. He is really uh, a 16th century James Bond. I think my favorite character in A Column of Fire is Marjorie, uh, who our protagonist falls in love with. She is two conflicting things. She is very serious about her beliefs. She's a very devout Catholic, which is very difficult in Protestant England. And she's also terrifically sexy. Uh, a very loving, very physical, sensual young woman. And these two things don't always go together very well. And this leads to uh, terrific conflicts in her life. But she is something that I always admire in men and women enormously. She's courageous. And uh, that's what probably that's what attracts me to her most. Towards the end of A Column of Fire, there is an incident which uh, everybody in 
England will be familiar with, at least, uh, which is the gunpowder plot. And what happens is that the gunpowder is hidden behind a pile of firewood. And our hero, Ned, is looking for it. Uh, and it's dark. So he is lighting his way with a flaming torch as he looks for the gunpowder. And Guy Fawkes is there. And Guy Fawkes knows that on the floor there's a trail of gunpowder leading to the edge of the, the stack of firewood. And one spark from this torch is going to blow them all up. And, but of course Guy Fawkes can't say, would you please take that torch outside? I don't want you to explode my gunpowder. And that's, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's not actually, I'm telling it in a comic way, but it's not actually comic. It's a, a pretty terrifying moment in the story. What I've learned from the Kingsbridge series, and I think perhaps readers might have learned this along with me, is how difficult it is to create the kind of free society that we live in in Western Europe and North America today. Uh, each of these three books has been set at a time of more or less tyranny, really. Uh, people weren't free to say what they like, to go to the church they wanted to go to, uh, and they certainly weren't free to choose the government of their country. And all through these books, people struggle for things like that. Uh, and often fail. Uh, and read, researching the books, and I think reading the books, you'll see that actually the achievement of a free society is, is kind of a miracle, uh, achieved with great difficulty and great sacrifice. And uh, I think perhaps we will all cherish this a bit more when we see what a terrible struggle it was to get here.